let's start, let's start recording this video. Uh, today, 25th day of November, today is cold, but today we will be talking about methods of collecting parasitic hymenoptera and other insects using very special plates, yellow pen traps or murky traps. Yes, very famous yellow pen traps, very useful for collecting different types of insects. But first of all, for me, it's interesting how we will be collected and how we are collecting this tiny parasitic wasp of a nut of superfamily Halcidoidea, or especially this tiny Trichogrammatidae, tiny Mimoridae, and others which are very small, less than 1 mm, 0.5 mm, and even less. But others like Halcidoidea were bigger, up to 5 mm, for instance. But it's difficult to collect them using conventional methods, using sweep, sweeping net or butterfly net, because, because they are very small. You need to use aspirator, but also you need to have your very precise attention and sharp eyes to collect them inside your butterfly net. And also you need to find good place for collecting, and it's quite difficult. So time is limited, but with this trap you can extend your time of collecting up to days when you are collecting with sweeping net or, or butterfly net. This is, can be some minutes and then you need to sort them just immediately in a field. But this trap, yellow pen traps, will be collecting instead of you. And you need to come and take all the collected material and bring it to the laboratory where you can study it, where you can sort it on different, different groups. And first of all, we should decide what's about plates. Why these are yellow pen traps? Well, you can recognize they are here and these are yellow pen traps. And you, what, what we are doing? We are collecting insects and other arthropods inside these traps because they will be filled with water, with shampoo and with salt. Well, you can say why they're falling down, why they're dropping down, why they're drawn inside these traps. Well, we can consider from our human point of view that these are like kind of a big trap, and but it's also like a big flower, so that's why they're coming and they're just walking around and they will be drawn inside. Because this is like a, like a huge, very big and very attractive flower. And let's but if you can use kind of this white container or transparent container, put it inside, for instance, inside the earthen under the ground and put it just in the same surface like ground, okay, different insects will be crowning around and fall down and drawn inside. That's also just, it can be called soil trap, more usually. So far you can use a different type of containers, transparent ones, or we see white color traps, one use traps as well, and put it inside the ground. Or oh, this is burly a trap usually, it's called with this kind of glasses, with plastic glasses. When you can fill it with water, with kind of a, maybe shampoo, or put here something attractive like a meat or some fruits, so insects or other arthropods will be crawling around the ground and will fall down and drawn and you can collect it next morning for instance. So as I said the white plates or blue color plates they are less effective for flying, for flying insects, especially for parasitic hymenoptera. Big glasses, these plastic glasses can be used also as well but they are huge. So big arthropods, big Invertebrates will be drawn, drawn inside, and so this will be mess, this will be trash, collecting trash. So, and all this garbage you need to check again, take it off, and to be very careful about collecting material. What's about flying insects? These tiny insects, these tiny parasitic hymenoptera, they're not big as well, as I said, they're very small, but they're flying around like plankton like small fishes in the water, so they're flying around like small 
Arthropods, you, you, can, you, you cannot even see them, but we're inside, but when we're falling down inside the trap, yeah, you can recognize it, because these traps can be filled with a huge number of insects. But how to do it? How to do it? Okay, let's start with from the beginning from the traps. These traps can be different size, different material. So you can remember this is 15 centimeters, 50, these are about, as I say, this is 15, this is 10 centimeters, not 15, 15, 20 centimeters diameter. Uh, this material is stronger than this strong plastic. This is a very soft plastic. I can use also as well this very cheap one, one use plastic. You can buy just uh, for dinner, for, for instance. But uh, then people just throw it away in a garbage tin. But if they are yellow, they easily you can be used for collecting insects in your garden, in your field nearby of your house, or somewhere in a field with natural habitat, with natural grasses, trees, aquatic pond, maybe lake, near the river, near the mountains, just near the stones. Why and how? First of all, you need to put these plates on the ground, so you can recognize some of them are quite shallow, some of them can be deeper, this can be probably 5 cm deep, and so amount of water will be bigger. So, and this is quite shallow. But nevertheless, okay, you can put it just on the ground, or even you can use some strings to put it on tree, so it will be just on a tree, but it's more difficult because when it's windy, it will be shaking, and water can be falling down, so that's why you need to put it more or less in a stable position or check it more often. And what's inside the plate? Okay, let's fill the plate with a collecting liquid. What is a kind of liquid? Uh, let's talk about it. Uh, collecting liquid, this is uh, the water with shampoo or just uh, soft, mm, soft soap, soap, or this is a special liquid, we can use it for cleaning your dishes in your kitchen. Very cheap, very convenient and very easy to find. So what can you do? First of all, you need to open your bottle, okay, and fill it with a drop of shampoo or with the soft detergent, detergent. The detergent will decrease the tension of water in a plate. In a plate. So that's why when insects is coming, insects will touch the surface and not fall, flying around again out because it's like a like a road. No, when its tension will be decreased with the soft soap, insect or other arthropods or even some mollusks will draw will be drawn down. So this material for your collecting. Well, and these arthropods will be used for your study, because we are collecting not for fun, for study. Well, what's going on? And when you are collecting, you are collecting usually in a hot time, in the summer, or it can be possible to collect through all season, especially if uh, your winter, somewhere in a tropical region, it can be plus 10, plus 15. You never know which insects are flying around, because they are very tiny, very, very small parasitic insects, other insects from Hymenoptera order, or Diptera, or Coleoptera, or different groups of insects and other arthropods were running around, flying, jumping, and then can be falling down inside this trap. So, when it is hot weather, when it is cold, hot climate, definitely water inside will be just heating during the daytime. That's why insects can be rotated, they can be, body can be swollen, so that's why they can be partially destroyed. If the, after one, two days, fully destroyed, completely destroyed. If you fix this material, material will be not in a good condition, will be partially destroyed or 
it can be destroyed on separate parts and arthropods will be completely destroyed. So that's why you need to use uh, this salt in the package salt and you need to fill the glass with the salt. Yes, you need to be careful. I used my... Where is my tube? Anyway, you need to put salt inside the tube. And about this one plate, was one big plate can be filled with salt as well. It's difficult if you be just walking around and put salt inside your plates. Better to use it before making preparation with these bottles. Okay, one spoon, big spoon in one bottle. And then when you are just shaking it in laboratory or in room and you go to the field, here will be okay. Soap with salt and just water. You need to take usually up to 10 these boxes, 10 kilograms by the way, quite heavy, to the field to fill at least uh, approximately 30 this type of plates because you fill with water and water is uh, disappearing. So, and that's already ready. So you put put the plate on the ground and fill it with water. What's going on? So you can fill water full plate or half plate, depends how much water do you have and you brought this water to the field because if you feel full, sometimes you have not enough water. So that's why sometimes half of plate can be enough. Later, next time when you're coming, you can fill it even full plate. Because if you put it over here full plate with water, it can stay here for longer time. And with salt, it will be just kind of marinate salted insects. So we will be here inside the plate salted and it will be saved during a couple of days. So after two days on the third one, you can come and collect material. So what do you need to do later? Uh, later you need to collect this material from plates. What you should do and how you do it. Okay, I show you. When you're coming to the field, okay, you put your plate and plates were collecting material usually for a night or several days. If you have opportunity to check them every day, this is the best situation because Insects will not be rotated, will not be swollen, so they're easily collected and they're very safe and condition is perfect. So you collected it during the night time and then next morning you're coming and you can see inside some insects how to collect them. Okay, if they're big you can use forceps, definitely you can take them off, but sometimes some smallest insects, less than one millimeter will come in here Oh, about one millimeter. It's difficult to take them off even with a brush because they're very small and can be a lot of them because plates can be anywhere just under the tree, under the shrub, near the grass, on the stone, near the water. Plates can be even flotating on, on water. So you can put it on a piece of polyester or flotating polyform and will can be floating on water slowly will not be drawn down inside the water but you can collect semi-aquatic very valuable insects because nobody didn't collect it somewhere in your area especially with this method which is real one which is easy but nevertheless it needs to take certain attention and time and to be very careful to collect it and to present it for experts, for specialists. Okay, you came to uh, your plate and you found, okay, very nice, a lot of insects. They have been falling down, they're drawn already here. And you need to have this or this tiny type of net. Tiny, small aquarium, aquarium net. Yes, not, not for butterflies, just for fish. So this is a kind of a small tiny fish net, tiny for small fish, yes. So diameter of this mesh, so this mesh less than one millimeter. If they're bigger, so all insects bigger than one millimeter will be 
coming out, so less than one millimeter, very very tiny. So this mesh is very useful. So and I use this one liter glass, so I put this glass, okay, somewhere in the field, another glass maybe you have just for, for convenience, so you put it in a sta stable situation, stable position, okay, and fill it with the water inside the net. So insects are all coming inside the net, very nice, insects are soft, they're flexible, they're flexible, they will not be destroyed. So you see, oh, very nice, very good. Put ne take next plate, put it in also inside. We, you, you have it to got a lot of water, okay. Ch fill it again, clean, clean your just box. And other insects coming again back, back inside the net. And water is coming back, coming back to the plate. Okay, very good. And you need to put now the plate somewhere in the field under the tree. So it will be working again till this till this moment. You fill it with water and put it somewhere under the tree. Okay, let's go. This is working. Good. And what's next? Next, you have collected here a lot of insects. Sometimes half of this aquarium net, half of this net is quite a lot. Insects are still flexible, they will not be destroyed, don't worry. So you need to bring it to the laboratory, put it inside the, this one liter, put it inside plastic bag and bring it to the laboratory. What's next? Your water was with salt and with shampoo, don't forget about it. If you immediately will fix this material in alcohol, insects will be in covered with uh, different materials will be soft, soft surface will be absolutely like milky surface. That's not very good. You after that, if you fix it, will be very difficult to clean it inside alcohol because you need to use uh, 96 or 70 percent degree alcohol. So for that, you need to clean your material. You can clean it material in a field if you have clean water, not salted water, but clean water, or just after the stream, streaming water somewhere, just in a stream in a field, carefully cleaning your, this your aquarium net mesh. You need to clean the mesh because it's became salted. And you can see here also bubbles. You could, will be a lot of bubbles because of so bubbles and salted water is coming out of so you clean it, clean it. Okay, finally. Good. Finally. You decided after one, two minutes. Insects have been cleaned under the stream of water or at least from the bottom. If you limit if you have a limit of water. In a field, definitely your water is limited. But at least one bottle for this one trap, for this one net will be full enough. And then you use, need to use final step. For final step you need to use this type of glasses, for example. These are very useful, these glasses or plastic jars. This kind of plastic jars, maybe 250 milliliters jars. And then you can put it and carefully, carefully, of course, not strongly pushing all material in. And fill it again with, uh, not with water, but with 70 or 96 percent alcohol. Well, clean it again, clean it again carefully with uh, ethanol, with ethanol, this alcohol or ethanol, the best fixing material, and close it. That's, that's all enough. So, for instance, I have collected here a different larvae, larvae of uh, Hymenoptera. So you see, they are keeping here, in, here inside these glasses very carefully. Yeah. Oh, this type of glasses, these plastic boxes, plastic jars, different size, like this. Okay, maybe 100 grams, so, okay, smaller, with quadrate shape, smaller, or even a 
more or like this one or some of them can be like this tubes yeah maybe 10 milliliters so because you need to sort your materials uh, from place to place from locating collecting place so don't mix all everything all together but at least if this is was one place and you collect it in one place you know inside um, for instance area 100 meters to 100 meters under the grass you can fill all plates with uh, insects inside one one jar so this will be one still collecting spot well so and put don't forget to put here the label inside the jar and one own jar with a number with indicating sample and definitely the place where you have collected it. So this is very important because otherwise you will mix different spots uh, because other spots can be somewhere I, 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 on the mountain for instance, on stones and next one will be just near the river. So this will be another collecting spot and all templates near the river will be separately in a separate jar. But you see here, here a lot of insects uh, about size of one millimeter. Why? Why were they here? Because some, someone, have sent it to me for the study. This material can be used. Definitely, is very valuable. You can collect it in uh, your place somewhere in a distant area, in a rare area, in unstudied place of the world, or maybe studied, but poorly studied by specialists because insects were representing one million species of insects and these tiny insects, this parasitic hymenoptera were poorly studied in different areas of the world, in tropical world and even in North America, in South America, in Australia, in Asia, in Africa were poorly studied because they have a small size and a lot of new species still flying around somewhere in wildlife or near maybe your house, near your farm. So that's why one of my colleagues collected this material, put it in a plastic bag. Yeah, all this material it can be protected area or semi-protected area which is uh, needed to be studied or you have project to study this area. So this uh, one of my friends and colleagues put it all these samples from one very rare place in Asia put it inside this box and send it through mail on my address. Yes, and this mail is, has no com any commercial value. You need to put some special invoice inside that this is a scientific material and has no material for commercials. This is only scientific material and can be easily received on my address. I can give you my personal address in your private in private email. So my email is here, is easily accessible. I'm just always online. So this is my email so you can send information about you and about your collecting material, your spot, your interest in the reservation, your interest in place where you can collect this material somewhere in north maybe in some way in the south place, in tropical areas or semi-tropical areas where it's difficult, more or less difficult still to put these plates, difficult to check them by the way. To put plates is easy, it's very simple, but then you need to come back regularly every two days, every three days, even with we salt and detergent and water, salt will be preventing rotation in destruction of insects inside plates, but still you need to regularly come, take this material and then you can send it your message on my email and I give you my address and please you can send it for study of your insects in your extended area, in your unstudied area, definitely some new species flying around your area, your farms, your house, in your areas with wildlife, even with a simple grass, but in distant area, someone, someone, some insects were living on this grass, or were living somewhere nearby, 
on trees and they were flying like plankton as I said to you around and we will be falling down inside plates and will be collected and this will be very valuable material for scientific study under the microscope with a different photographing equipment and then will be used for scientific publications in English definitely and now we are publishing our papers despite we are in other countries not English we are pu publishing papers and me as well in English in uh, in different uh, reliable and honorable journals and if you are a collector we can express uh, either acknowledgement thank you for you for collecting this very interesting and unique material near your place because no one will not repeat it in the same manner as you did it because you need to collect you need to uh, relatively sort it and then fix it and send it to us. You need to take off with a forceps or other techniques or with a, like with a big mesh, like a big mesh, like if you use net with a bigger mesh or it can be metallic, so you can sort all this material, for instance, a big size and smaller size insects will be in different parts, one part of boxes or one jars with bigger insects, another with smaller insects, another with the smallest. Each of them are very interesting for specialists, for experts on different groups. Hymenoptera, Diptera, Coleoptera, others, maybe not Lipidoptera, because Lipidoptera moths will be destroyed in alcohol, in ethanol, where scales will be removed and Insects, moths, butterflies will be partially destroyed, but others will be absolutely perfect and very good for preparation, for making microscopic slides, making study under the microscope, maybe even some DNA study, but not fully DNA study because material still can be partially destroyed and rotated in salted water. But for morphological study, for biodiversity study, this is a a really unique perfect material and very valuable so contact me contact I will contact with other entomologists regarding other groups but I'm interested in a small parasitic hymenoptera small calcid wasp about one millimeter size and if you have opportunity interest and wish for collaboration I'm ready to collaborate with you in the study of your material in the study of these tiny parasitic insects, especially this trichogrammatidae, mimaridae, other egg parasitoids, which can be collected in these traps. If you send it inside these boxes, separated partially on inside small plastic glasses, plastic tubes, you can separate some parts. If you separate here, some of the smallest, the smallest, will be perfect, put it inside these plates, close it and send it inside these plastic bags or ins you can put them inside some other boxes like this with tiny glasses if you separated them. Yes, if you have not separated them, put them just in a plastic jars like that and also you can send this plastic jar by post mail with some notes that this is material for scientific study and we can select and sort this material for scientific research of your particular area and will be very good for our scientific operation and this box with your unique material will be really very valuable for science we express your acknowledgement or I can include you in scientific co-authors of this paper as well this is another way or the next opportunity if you are not uh, very very interested in publications just you may be entomologist amateur or zoologist or other specialty it's not your profession we can even give you the name of this insect of, of this tiny insect in honor of you so someone some new species for science can be named in your honor with your name like uh, for instance, Trichogramma noisy, or Trichogramma lasali, or Trichogramma 
a gordy. These are different species. And the second name in the scientific Latin name, this is named in honor of scientist. But if you are a scientist, if you are not a scientist, but interested to have your name, named particular name of insects with your personal name, with your surname, that's a real my I, some of my colleagues named some species of insects in my in honor of me, just like Victory or Fursovi. It sounds interesting, sounds funny, sounds uh, pleasant, by the way. So this is also opportunity of our cooperation. So acknowledgement, co-authors co and also scientific name, new scientific names. All three opportunities uh, sounds pretty nice, pretty good for cooperation and our mutual scientific cooperation and collaboration in the study of biodiversity of tiny insects, the small parasitic insects which I'm studying. Other groups of insects can be part, part by part, sorting by sorting, directed to other specialists. So they can name other insects in honor of you as well. So thank you for watching and if you are somewhere in north, in Alaska, somewhere in the south, in Tanzania, in Congo, somewhere in South America, in Argentina, in Chile, or somewhere in Australia, in New Zealand, in Papua New Guinea, in Indonesia, in Asia, in Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, wherever you are just working, you can collect scientific material, with a, not for commercial purpose, for scientific study, and we can cooperate, collaborate with you in the study of this interesting group of parasitic insects. Calcidoidea, parasitic wasp, egg parasitoids, and I'm ready to cooperate with you in this study. Thank you for watching. Press like and write your comments. In, if you are on Gmail, send me email. And if you are on Gmail, write comments under this video. Ask your questions. I'm ready for discussion, for cooperation, and for discussion of your comments. If you have specific comments, send it a private email for private messages. Thank you for watching. See you soon as subscriber as well. Don't forget to subscribe. It's very useful for development of my YouTube channel as well, for education of different people. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you soon on my channel. Bye-bye.